Welcome back everybody. It's time for another King or Quick Tip. Hope you're all having a good week. Uh, I think it was Monday I sent out a teaser uh, of a video of me at DePaul University. I kind of want to go on a little bit of a, not a tangent so to speak, but to give you a little bit of history and background of the DePaul Blue Demons. Um, we talked about uh, using your ass in the last episode. Um, there's about uh, three or four DePaul players that really had the whole ass move down. Uh, Tommy Kleinschmidt, Quentin Richardson, uh, Tyrone Corbin, and probably the best one of them all was Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre was a fantastic player in the uh, late 70s, early 80s for the Demons. Had a very good pro career, uh, was a pride and joy of Westinghouse High School. Um, but DePaul, I toured the campus, very nostalgic to walk through uh, the hollow grounds of uh, DePaul in Lincoln Park and their Loop campus. I have uh, three quick tips, not tips, but three fun facts for you on DePaul. One, it's the largest uh, Catholic school in the United States enrollment-wise, which I did not know that. Secondly, and I'm not sure if this is still true, it's the uh, second largest landowner uh, in Chicago outside of the Catholic Church. Thirdly, Ray Meyer, their esteemed coach, Last breath was taken about 100 yards from here in the Elmhurst Hospital. He died at the Elmhurst Hospital uh, quite a few years ago, but uh, his memory lives on in the, in the streets of Elmhurst. Um, DePaul had fantastic teams. Coach Ray Meyer, uh, Joey Meyer, and uh, Jim Molinari was an assistant coach. And Coach Mo was kind of the unsung hero in the recruiting trail. Everyone said that he had played a big role in the recruiting all the players. And Mo recruited him there, then he took over a job at Northern Illinois University where uh, he inherited some players but had a long list of just fantastic players. Uh, Donald Whiteside, Donnell Thomas, Mike Hidden for you uh, Nick Ten fans out there, Brian Molis. Antoine Harmon, Andrew Wells, uh, Mark Layton, Mike Levinsky, the list goes on and on. Uh, Mel Thomas and uh, uh, Donald Whiteside, I believe Donald went to uh, Leo. Whiteside was a great guard, uh, one of the best point guards in Northern Illinois ever, Northern Illinois ever had, but even in the state of Illinois. Um, he was part of the Mid-Continent Conference great uh, guard series that they had with Tony Bennett, Donald Whiteside, and Kenny Williams. Uh, one thing that Coach Mo always stressed was defense. Um, he wasn't much of an offensive coach. He's still coaching. He went to Bradley Western and now he's an assistant at Nebraska. But he always stressed defense and his teams would really lock down some people. I'm going to give you a tip here. We're going to go to the Kinger Cam. I'm going to show you a tip that we've been using uh, in our yard here and hopefully you can use this at home. Um, so here we go. Okay, so this is the Kinger cam. I'm on the balls of my feet with my eyes right on the stomach. You shouldn't watch a guy's eyes because they can be deceiving. His feet can, his arm can. You keep your eyeball right on his stomach. Defensive stance. You have your hands out, one hand here to take away that crossover dribble. That's how Donald Whiteside did it. And he was one of the best players to come out of Northern Illinois. And uh, I think if you take up and uh, play D the way Donald does, uh, you're going to be okay. That's all we got for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, do me a favor. Share this or like it on Facebook. Let's try and get this thing rolling a little bit. Increase the sponsorship pot. Uh, speaking of sponsors, after every workout, we always go reach for a Dean's Milk Chug. Milk is always the right choice, folks. I don't know why it wouldn't be. After every workout, we have one. A couple of our viewers, Sean, Tom Condon, and Jimmy O'Brien, are big fans of the show. Thank you guys for your generous sponsorship. Milk is always the right choice. Hey, kid. Good workout. Thanks, Dad. It's doing this body good. <laughs>